Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured that I would get unready and I think I want to do a mask tonight. I think that my skin is in a pretty decent place um, that I can probably, I think it can probably sustain a mask or like go through a mask and be okay. So I think that we're going to do a mask tonight. So I'm going to wash my face put a mask on and then while my mask is doing its magic we're going to talk about my favorite masks and I know I'm in my bathroom again this is like the third video in a row or something like that I know but I'm just trying to get these videos out for you guys and these are the videos that I am interested in watching and I don't like doing like setting everything up in my studio and then bringing all the products in there and then not having you guys see them like see them in action basically so also, if you hear snuffling, Jude's in here. He's obsessed with sniffing the bath mats. And he just lies there and sniffs them. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go and uh, wash my face, and then we'll come back and put on a mask. <laughs> Alright, so, my skin is freshly clean. It is seriously looking better and better day by day. I'm looking over here because I've situated my mirror so that I can see what's going on. Um, it does feel very smooth but also very like dry. So what I've decided that I'm going to do is I'm going to do this papaya enzyme peel from LMS. I got this in a FabFitFun box last year at some point I think have right now my skin is very dry and flaky again recovering from all of those breakouts um i'm not going to leave this mask on for too long because it is like an enzyme exfoliating mask so it's going to help soften my skin up get my skin ready to um receive all of the good skincare stuff that i'm going to put on it and uh, um so let's talk about this mask first. So this is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. It's an enzymatic cream exfoliator and this thing is quite expensive. I will try and go and I will link everything and I'll also try and put the prices up for you guys so that you can, like this is an expensive mask. The only reason I have this is because I got it in the FabFitFun. Um, and it says exfoliate and purify tired lackluster skin non-abrasive fruit enzymes work to leave skin soft revitalized and radiant apply for 10 minutes rinse off with lukewarm water simple the next thing that i have not used this in a long time actually and i'm really wondering if this will help with my nose skincare clog pores sebaceous filaments blackheads sort of situation so I definitely want to start using this a lot more um this is the Mario Badescu skincare the silver powder and um, it just has calcium carbonate kaolin and zinc oxide that's it um it says dip a water dampened cotton ball into the powder and press onto nose chin or other areas where pores are clogged remove after 10 minutes with a toner or astringent use one to time each week and it says using natural ingredients to help draw blackheads excess oil and other impurities from the skin our silver powder is super effective at combining t-zone or combating t-zone shine decongesting pores and balancing oil in the skin so i'm definitely going to be using this a lot more as you saw like this is what the, the lms mask looks like um and the mario badescu silver powder is literally a white powder and um i will say be careful like with this mask right now i could probably go and you know have a cup of tea or have a couple of cookies or even eat a noodle bowl if i really wanted to as long as i didn't get on my chin because do not eat these things <laughs> um but with this you cannot do that because as soon as it starts to dry it starts to like flake and powder off it gets all over your top it will get in your mouth if you're breathing too heavily if you like have a mug of tea it'll like steam the powder that's on your nose and make it wet again and then when it dries it goes into your drink like just to have this on read a book chill sort of thing the next one i have is the body shop tea tree skin clearing clay mask um I am almost out of this, you can tell, 
that this has been very well loved. I have to say, I don't think tea tree works very well for my skin. I have this like skin clearing lotion and I've barely been trying to use it up. So I've been mainly using it on like my shoulders and my chest because again, with the change in this weather, it's been rough on your girl. Um, uh, but I'll definitely use this up, but I don't think that this is the best. I actually really, really love the Himalayan charcoal mask from the body shop. I think that between the two of those, I would get the other one. It is very hard to get off. Like you have to make sure that you have a washcloth, face halo, whatever you want to use, press it with warm water onto the skin, and then you can start. And I really like that one. I feel like it really like clears out my skin. Um, but it is a little bit more abrasive than this, but I do like this one. One of my all-time favorite masks ever, ever. This is my third tub of this. This is the Cup of Coffee mask from Lush. I love this. It is getting down there. Again, I've definitely been using these smells like coffee smells like kind of like coffee and clay mixed together which i actually find that it's a very comforting smell now at first i was like ooh, because obviously you don't want your coffee to smell like anything other than coffee but you have to remember it's not actually coffee it's a it's a coffee mask so it says this is a face and body mask i would never use this on my body just because it's so small <laughs> It says, kickstart your day with a stimulating blend of fresh ground coffee, kaolin, and agave syrup. Um, and that's exactly what it smells like. This is vegan. It's self-preserving. Obviously, it's from Lush. If you collect five of these black tubs and you turn it in, you get a free face mask. And I think that's actually how I got this one. <laughs> It says, um, you smooth the mask all over your skin, leaving on for 15 minutes, then rinse off with warm water, massaging as you go. Um, and it says, ground coffee scrubs away dirt and dry skin while leaving your skin, while giving your skin a boost of coffee. And for me, I found that my skin react re reacts really well to caffeine. This does have a physical exfoliator and it does have coffee grounds in it. So if you are not part of the physical exfoliation club, then maybe pass on this or just use it on your body. Um, but I love this, especially when I am very tired and I have, you know, something to go to in the morning. I will make sure that I give myself those 15 minutes to put this on before I take a shower or wash my face or whatever I'm going to do. Um, because it just wakes me up and I smell that coffee and I start getting happy and I make myself a cup of tea and it's just, oh, I love it so much. I have another coffee mask because this came out right around the time that I was going to the body shop a lot and I had just bought the cup of coffee mask and I was like, oh, but I really want to test this one out. So this is the Body Shop's Nicaraguan Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. So this is different than the other one. Number one, it is a, it's dark. It has a very smooth consistency. There's a little bit of coffee grounds in it, but other than that, it's a very smooth consistency and it's very light. And it also has like a translucency, almost like gel-like finish to it instead of, the like kale and clay like consistency and opaque consistency of the um, or opaque look of the cup of coffee. It smells like it. Oh. This smell, man. This smell smells. Okay, this is gonna be really weird. This smells like my granddad having his cup of coffee in the morning. He didn't actually drink coffee. He drank postum, but postum is pretty much coffee. I think it's roasted chicory, but anyway. It smells like cologne and coffee, and it makes me wanna cry every time I smell it. Every time. So this is the last mask I have to talk to you about. This is the 4th Ray Beauty The Big Detox Mud Mask, and it says, apply a thin layer to clean skin, leave on for five to 20 minutes, and rinse thoroughly. Use as often as needed. Now for me, it comes in this cute packaging, has a little stopper, and then it's kind of like this gray mask. It has a very, very, um, what does it smell like? It smells a little bit like licorice and a little bit like 
menthol-y. Um, maybe like a little bit of like tea tree-esque in there. Uh, I don't know exactly what is in here. For me, I cannot use this all over my face. It is way, like that mint can irritate my skin, but I can use this on my nose and on my chin and be okay. So if you have very sensitive skin like I do, please be careful while you are using this because it may have fragrance in it, which is maybe why it has that kind of like smell to it, but also it can be very, very irritating. I put this all over my face one day and I took it off and my face was bright pink. It was awful. Also make sure after you are using this that you are moisturizing your skin. The more moisturization, the better. After I use this, I only use this at night and after I use it, I make sure I layer on my moisturizers so that my skin can recover from the intenseness of this. So now we're going to talk about treatments. So I have very sensitive skin. I also have very dry, finicky skin, combination skin, and I have very acne prone skin. I have very large pores um, right across here. Not really anywhere else, but right here I have very large pores. They can get very grumpy very quickly. So I have two acne ingredients or acne fighting um, things right here. So this is the Later Hater Spot Treatment from 4th Ray Beauty. This is so inexpensive. It's in a glass bottle and you can see it has the solution at the bottom. You do not shake this. You leave it like this. You stick your Q-tip in and then you place this on your spot. I use this for um, spots that are this is gonna be really gross, I'm really sorry. I use this on spots that are like oozy and weepy, like you've popped it like an idiot, and now the clear kind of, it's trying to like heal itself, so that clear ooze is coming out. That's what I use this for. It is a drying lotion, that's another thing, another like term for it, and um, I only use this either on self-care days or this is quite drying on your skin. Again, if you have very flaky dry patches, I would not recommend using this before like an event or something like that because they are just, just going to make those breakouts that are now flaky and dry and crusty even more flaky and dry and crusty. <laughs> so definitely I use this before bed and I just put on all of my skincare and then I take a Q-tip and I wipe off that area that I'm going to put it on. I apply it liberally, sometimes two, three layers, just to make sure that number one, that open wound isn't going to get infected or have anything in it, um, aside from the medicinal ingredients in this. And on top of that, um, I'll make sure the next morning to really moisturize those spots. A lot of times I'll put my skincare on and then I'll go back in with like a, um, uh, either like the ultra repair cream and put that on the spot or I'll go in with some sort of like polysporin or something like that too and I'll put that right on my spots just to give it that intense moisturization. These are the Kos RX which are a Korean skincare brand I believe. Um, these are obviously cruelty free and everything like that and this is the Acne Pimple Master Patch. It's an ADF hydrocolloid dressing. There are 24 patches of varying sizes and I have one open already. I got, I get mine off of Amazon and I always get the four pack because these patches in the past, since September when I really started trying to take care of my skin, have been a lifesaver for me. So they come in this little packaging and then they come on this sheet and you can see the patches. And basically, these are amazing if you have a pimple that you really, really wanna pop and you can't pop it. Number one, you can wear these out and about. Like if I know I don't have to put on makeup and I know I'm not gonna be like seeing somebody up close, I'll put these on and I'll wear them out. I don't care. <laughs> um but I especially wear these if I have an under the skin pimple that I think is gonna come to the surface overnight and I'll put this on and oh my gosh, 
it helps so much. If I have a spot um, that is a pimple, like a pus bump, and ugh, so gross, I hate pimples so much, <laughs> I will put this on it and literally I will peel it off hours and hours and hours later the next morning whenever not only is that bump super hydrated because of the like oils and stuff like that that are in here but it also takes that pimple with it without you squeezing or putting pressure or irritating that area the best thing though about these is because i have this pimple patch on if i have an open pimple i will just pick at it all day I don't know what it is as soon as I get stressed as soon as my anxiety is high I tear my face apart it is awful I've heard that it's technically like an actual disorder but I've never looked into it because I don't need to add another thing onto my long list of why I'm an inadequate human being um, but this keeps my fingers away from those pimples because I go to touch it and I touch that pimple patch and I'm like, oh. I got you, I got you. Um, that's what my pimple patch does to me. And these are just the best. I'm gonna wipe this off, show you my skin, and then I'm gonna put all my skincare on and show you my skin again. My skin's gonna be so happy and it's gonna be so great. Let's do it. So nighttime skincare is done. As you can see, I have a couple of active breakouts. I have one there, one there, one there. I only have three active breakouts on my face. Things are looking up, people. Things are looking up. And um, I'm really trying to reduce my use of Q-tips. I generally get the ones that have like the paper, they're like paper and cotton, but I don't know, I've still heard that those take a while to like break down and stuff like that. So today I just used one of my cloth cotton rounds that I got off of Amazon. I will link them if I can find them. They were nice. They're not really nice. Um, they're soft on both sides, which is really great because a lot of them will sometimes be like microfiber on one side or they'll be um, like exfoliating on one side and I don't need that and I don't want that. <laughs> I just want a soft cotton round. They're super flexible um, and also I can like really like get under there like I would with a cotton, like a normal disposable cotton round. And so I just wiped off the little like, I have like an active breakout there. So I just took this and I wiped off my um, moisturizers and stuff like that for that so that the medicine that is on here can really penetrate into the breakout and draw out the impurities and all that stuff. So those are my favorite masks and treatments. Thank you so much for chilling with me today. I think that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!